Hi, welcome back to Kiwi Tuition Academy and in today's class I am going to teach you cylindrical coordinate systems in field theory. Cylindrical coordinate system variables are R, phi and Z. Here the unit vectors are AR vector, A phi vector and A Z vector. Where R is the radius of the cylinder and phi is the angle between X axis and the half plane. Z is nothing but axis of the cylinder. Here we are going to see this three dimensional cylindrical shape by means of a half plane. A half plane is fastly rotating with respect to Z axis. At that time we can able to see a cylinder. Okay. So my dear students here the radius of the cylinder is R. So here is also it is R okay so in all the coordinate system the differential elements are very very important what are the three differential elements I have already taught you in Cartesian coordinate system what are the three differential elements they are differential length differential surface and differential volume among these three differential elements these two are that is DL vector DS vector why I am representing these two in terms of vector because differential length is a vector quantity similar to the differential surface is also vector quantity but differential volume is a scalar quantity because it's a weight it does not have any direction so dv is scalar quantity dl is a vector quantity ds is also vector quantity now we are going to see the range of the three variables in cylindrical coordinate system. In cylindrical coordinate system, the variables are R, phi and Z. Here R varies from 0 to infinity. The cylinder may consist of uh, 5 meter radius. The cylinder might consist of 10 meter radius. The cylinder might consist of 100 meter radius. The cylinder might consist of infinite radius. But the starting point is 0, right? It is the origin. So, the radius, the range of the radius is varies from 0 to infinity and similar to that the angle phi it can rotate a whole, it can rotate, it can rotate for the whole 0 to 360 degree. So, only the range is from 0 to 360 degree that is 2 phi and, and the z varies from minus infinite it is positive infinite and here it in the opposite direction it is minus infinite okay so it varies from minus infinity to plus infinity these are ranges of the variables r phi and z now we are going to in depth about differential length differential surface and differential volume come let's go in differential length See, I can represent differential length as dl vector. So, dl vector is equal to dr ar vector plus d phi a phi vector plus d z a z vector. And you are asking that why this are here? Yes, let me explain you. Because in Cartesian we write, in Cartesian we write, how we write the dl vector in Cartesian? In Cartesian we write dl vector is equal to dx ax vector plus dy ay vector plus dz az vector. But here in cylindrical the unit vectors are what? Yes, r phi and z dr, r vector, d phi, a phi vector and d z a is a vector but why i am writing here r what is the purpose of using r here yeah let me explain you that see here r is always associated with phi this radius changes with respect to phi this angle phi is associated with this radius so see here my dear students dr is nothing but differential length in r direction see here yeah, I hope it's visible to you. DR is nothing but differential length in R direction. Similar to that. D phi is nothing but. D phi is nothing but differential angle. But here we need differential length. To convert this differential angle to differential length. What we want to do? We want to multiply this particular radius with this angle. Now this R D phi is nothing but differential length in phi direction. Instead of using R D phi, if you are using 
uh, merely define means it's nothing but differential angle to convert differential angle to differential length you want to multiply this particular d5 with r yes and now dz is nothing but differential and then is a direction and now we are going for differential surface and one more thing i want to tell you if you want to calculate the magnitude of differential length vector means dl vector is equal to square root of coordinate of ar vector square so dr square then coordinate of a phi is nothing but rd phi so rg phi the whole square and then d is at square that's all and next come let's move to differential surface yes so see here differential surface we represent it with ds vector ds vector is equal to ds r ar vector plus ds phi a phi vector plus ds is a j z vector see here there are three differential surface vectors are available in cylindrical coordinates they are ds r vector see here it's nothing but ds r vector okay ds r vector is nothing but ds r r vector see here this is nothing but dsr okay so dsr vector is equal to let me teach you very easily how to write this dsr vector see here what is in the subscript r so you want to take the unit vector as r vector so in r phi and z i'm going to cancel r because i have wrote that as unit vector so what are the two remaining phi and z so they comes as variable they come as variable d phi d z but remember the point that d phi does not come alone it always comes along with r the r is here r g phi d z that's it so dsr vector is nothing but differential vector surface area perpendicular to our direction and similar to that there are three more vector surfaces there are two more vector surfaces are possible here they are ds phi vector ds z vector r phi and z so three possibilities of surfaces are here similar to this we are going to write ds phi vector here what is in the subscript phi so yes it comes as a unit vector a phi vector so in r phi and z i'm going to cancel phi because i have already wrote that as unit vector what are the two remaining r and phi so they comes as variable variable means it's come along with differential differential dr and dz that's it so ds phi vector is nothing but differential vector surface area perpendicular to phi direction and the last vector surface is ds z vector so yes i'm going to take the unit vector as a z vector so among all phi and z i'm going to cancel z now what are the two remaining r and phi they comes as variable dr d phi yes dr d phi then why this r yes d phi does not come alone it comes along with r because r and d phi are close friends okay in cylindrical coordinate system d phi does not comes alone it comes along with r that r is in the french so r dr d phi is a vector ds is a vector is nothing but differential vector surface area perpendicular to is a direction yeah that's all about differential length and differential surface both are vector quantities and now we are going to switch over over to the last differential element yes which is differential volume see here see here my dear students